the privilege and the honor is mine to introduce the speaker of the hour. Amen. I've had this blessed privilege of leading this district. I've had the privilege of working along with this speaker for the past eight years. It's been a, it's been a blessing. He's worked tirelessly in the area of his calling as coordinator for the young people. And, uh, and in the second term of office, he was moved into the evangelistic realm Amen. where the Lord has blessed him immensely in keeping crusades at different churches Amen. during the period of time. Yes. And this was acknowledged by the Executive of the Personal Ministries Federation and by the by the Union, the Atlantic Union. And today we have him again here. I, I was happy to bring him here because I know he, he kept some meetings here uh, last year. It was, it was, yes. He kept some meetings here last year and I know he I know he wanted to come back. Amen. I know he wanted to come back. And if the church didn't bring him back, I, I would. I, would. <laughs> <laughs> I know the church wanted to bring him back yes. a number of times. So we didn't work, work things out. But um, I'm happy today that we can have him here to speak to us again. The word of God. And, and he's, always, and he's a committed man. And uh, his, his family is with him here. Wife Michelle, I'm going to ask you all to stand. Uh, Michelle, with the children of Michelle. Amen. 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 Mariah, uh, Mark Jr. and uh, Malcolm. I, I want to uh, acknowledge them the, the full support of him when he goes into the field. They are always shoulder to shoulder there. Amen. Amen. And, and he can't step up. Uh, I know from Malcolm, uh, everyone will show, show him up if he steps up. Amen. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for the support. Amen. Today again, he will bring God's word to you. And I believe with all my conviction that this message is for each of us. Yes. We have been talking earlier today uh, with regard to examining ourselves and uh, recognizing what God's plan is for our lives. And I know that this will be a source that we can look into when the Spirit of God will be speaking to us to the man of God, the man of God. And before he comes to us, we have a meditation item by Sister Sharon Austin. 